So we yeah. met on a independent film. It was uh, my first kind of job out of training. And uh, Gary, you were DOP. <coughs> that. Yeah, so I was DOP. That one. Yeah, yeah, and we got we got talking. Um, and we got on fine, didn't we? Yeah, then, we, we, we didn't really get a chance to get to know each yeah, other on that again, film. It was because I was on deck film. You it know, was one of those. Was, yeah, I was doing everything yeah, right and whatever. So when everybody was having lunch, I was setting up the next shot. So we, we didn't really get to talk much yeah. on that. But it was then another short film I'd been asked to DP, which was a good few months later. Yeah. It was a long time. So that had kind of long gone, that project, and they just struggled to get a lead role in it. Um, they cast twice and lost them twice. Mm. Um, and, <clears throat> and it was like, we had to start shooting. It was like, Gary, do you know any young female actors? And I tried quite a few. And I, it always sounds bad because we didn't think of Shawnee because <laughs> that project had gone and we didn't, yeah. I didn't really know her. But uh, so I, it, it did suddenly drop that uh, oh, God, I did work with someone last year. <laughs> Yeah. And and yeah. she looks brilliant on camera. Uh, my God, she's perfect for this. So I sent you the message. He was like, yeah, great. Like the sound of that. And then, so, and uh, so you did it. Yeah. And then we really got to know yeah. each other. And that's where we that's did where we start to talking each other. about yeah. the sort of ethos of, of what we want out of our careers and where yeah. we want them to go and lead to. You know, yeah, I wanted yeah. to get more hands on with the crew side as well as the acting side. I, I've, mm. you know, um, without... And the writing. Well, yes, and the writing yeah, without... Um, blow my own trumpet or anything but I've done my degree in acting I've got that craft I know I've got that craft and then I wanted to learn more yeah you um, just wanted to take on a, try a few more things yeah you? and and you it was kind of right timing yeah because yeah, yeah I, I was itching to do other stuff as well um, and my own stuff and a lot of the people I was working with had long gone so like the, the short horror films that I'd done I had a crew mm. and I was all they'd gone they'd moved got jobs disappeared so it was really good timing that yeah. we met and we suddenly had these great ideas didn't we we yeah. was like oh we could Just do this we could do off that. Each other. and then abatement came abatement yeah. arose and uh, yeah. we we kind of put together the storyline now abatement originally <laughs> mm. it's meant to be a summer project yeah it was only meant to, to be a see little how project. we could work together to see you know networking yeah. between Get a few friends actors together and filmmakers yeah. Yeah. very quickly Grew though, didn't it? Grew into it, a monster, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It grew into a feature. So yeah. we it, like, it, hey, it let's was a little a bit. Yeah, it was a little bit of. Um, <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, let's do a project for friends over summer. Yeah. The story turned out really well. We had something like we said, right, we'll cast it properly, mm. and we had something like five hundred people apply, <laughs> and it's like, oh my god, you know, we have got some really good people now. Yeah. So it, it kind of grew, it grew, it grew, and it was one of those. Uh, I know it was meant to be a bit of fun. Mm. But it's like, well, if we're going to do it, we, we might as well now just do it properly. Right, yeah. it's, this is so, a production company now. Yeah. This so it literally yeah. turned into the production company. We got Michael McKell yes. involved. Yeah, we did. We did have another lead actor um, who just couldn't do it through other commitments. Really, a really well-known mm. actor. Um, so it was quite. It was like he, he'd gone, and it was like, God, who do we know? Who do we know? Who do we know? And then Mike, Michael came up. I was like, oh my God, yes, let's ask Michael. Yeah. Um, and he was all for it. Um, he loved the script. So we was really fortunate to get Michael. Um, and what did we shoot? Shoot in nine principal days. Yeah. Which was quite tough. It was in, in the woods. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mainly, all, ma mainly all in the woods. <laughs> so it was all outside. Um, um, we yeah, was lucky to get the location. Um, Very, yeah. And yeah, and then there was how many pickup days? We had quite a few pickup days. It was a good learning curve because yeah. we, we shot the script and then it was one of those where we were like, ah, we didn't get edit, any. Uh... You kind of notice bits like, oh, we need, we need, um, yeah, we need a bit of a linking, yeah, bit of this, bit of that. We didn't think um, ahead enough. And that mm, is a really sort yeah. that we take on to the next productions that we'll be doing. Yeah, we learned so, so much on it. Um, yeah, so. where about that now is um, we well, have edited. We've edited it together. It's picture locked. Yeah, um, yeah, we've edited, both edited it. Yeah. Um, we have the, the the we've now got post sound. So yeah, that's been yeah. sorted out. So we got it's kind of out of our hands. That weird Mary's, feeling that was. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he just put it in the hands of other people. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but it, it's done now, and we've just got a sort of prem for that now. Yeah. We've really yeah. got the prem And then, here, so. uh, private prem screen in, and then the festival run. Yeah. So we're yeah. nearly there with it. We're nearly there with it. Can you tell us about the story? 
Yes. Of course, yes. Yeah. So, Bateman, it is a thriller, drama thriller. Mm. And it's about, it's kind of focusing around the theme of sort of uh, suspicion and trust. Um, these people that consider themselves trustful of each other, friends, are uh, in this situation in the outdoors, in the woods, and um, an event happens, a murder is witnessed. Uh, and from that, it's sort of the dominoes effect onto these individuals and how they cope with what they saw, um, the mistakes they make along the way, mm. and also the other people involved and what they know in regards to the relation. So it wreaks suspicion on a lot of characters. It, it pushes it um, round to different characters. Yeah, in terms of their involvement, in terms of what they know, what they don't, mm. what they've done. Um, it, it's, all, it, it's sort of a little bit of an element of almost like if one person starts by just making a little white lie yeah. by not telling somebody it's something they perhaps should it, yeah. have done. So that then wreaks suspicion, why the hell would you not tell me about it? And yeah. then it kind of goes round, doesn't it? It snowballs yeah. around characters. But then the ending, well, we, we had an ending, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We had an ending yeah. and it was okay. <laughs> we was actually coming back from London one day and we're happy with the ending. Yeah. And we're like, it, it, it works, you know, yeah. it works. And I was like, I've been thinking. Yeah, and then Shani with a bright idea was like, I have an idea. Mm. And it just turned the whole story around, yeah, didn't it? Yeah. Everything you learnt right through that story got turned on its head and God, that's it what worked we so to well, do. didn't it? That's the theme we wanted to maintain throughout the movie and it just yeah. seems so much more consistent with that theme now. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, kind of going on our roles in the movie as well, um, I wrote Abatement, the screenplay. We, we both came up with the story. Yeah, we came um, up with the idea, you wrote the screenplay. Yes, and I also acted in it as well. Um, the along actors. the way playing... A few other roles behind yeah. camera. <laughs> yeah, it, it, what, it, it kind of was. Yeah, we, we was. had to yeah, yeah we do a bit, bit of everything. everything. So so I was directing it and DPing it, and that was the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, it was just really, really tough. Both. Because I was actually finding, for the first time in my life, I'd set the camera, and I we was doing the scene, mm. and then at the end of the scene, and the actors were like, oh, is that all right? And I'm like, you know what, I've got no idea, because I was focusing on... The composition. And yeah, the... on the camera side of it. I, I was taking no notice of the acting. So I learnt really quick that yeah. it, for directing, it takes all your concentration. As a DP, it takes all your concentration on the composition, yeah, but... the, the exposure, focusing, that you, you just can't pay attention to both. Um, so mm -hmm. it was really tough doing that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it again. Not not two roles like that. Yeah, but at, at the same time, the positives we took from it is we learned. Yeah, again, so much. It brilliant, was such brilliant a good learning, learning curve. The the mm. cast, the crew were, were brilliant. Um, oh, and although brilliant, we said obviously brilliant. we wanted to treat yeah, it really professionally, um, we still had a really nice atmosphere on set, didn't we? Yeah, there it was no a great, arguments. yeah, were, great atmosphere. You know, we everyone was brilliant, professional. Would recommend. Everyone in that movie again. Oh gosh, you know, yeah. They were brilliant. So would you, out of choice then, would you be a director or a DOP? De preference is definitely DOP, yeah. 100%. <laughs> I, I actually, if I was honest, I would say I almost didn't enjoy directing it. Yeah. Because the short films I'd done before, I, I, I directed those and that was easy because it was a bunch of mates. It was a bunch of mates making a film and it, yeah. and it was almost more collaborative of, it, you know, it wasn't all really one person directing mm. it. So I had no qualms about directing this feature. I wanted to direct a feature. Yeah, it's my first feature. I love to direct it and I just thought I was all flat. <laughs> It was just no, so stressful. Right. You awful. No, it was. It, it was just the fact it. that, my God, it's, it's so involved. And and the problem for me was actually the the real reason was it was, it wasn't that it was a rush job. We had we had to write the script. It was pretty much written in three weeks, yeah. refined over about another three weeks, and then we had to shoot on those nine days because some of the cr some of the cast were going to uni and the crew. Yeah, they were gone. Um, the crew as well. Mm. So we had to shoot then. So there wasn't enough time for me to really pick the characters apart um, and get all of their motivations for what they were doing and why. And, and you need that as a director. You need all of the characters nailed down in your head. Mm. And I just didn't, I didn't have that, you, you know. So given more time, I think I'd have enjoyed it far more. 
I just, it just trips But your out. passion, your passion is. But yeah, yeah, my passion was camera. Yeah, definitely. And what about you? Yeah. yourself acting or producing? Acting. Acting's my passion. Yeah, I love acting. Um, I love the feeling it gives me. Um, but likewise, I am happy to learn and, mm. and to get involved. Um, quite often when I'm on set, even as an act, actress, actor, um, I'll go behind camera and be like, is there anything you need help with? Even if it's a production, because you know, we do, we are still yeah, yeah, freelance, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. Even if it's in a production where, mm. where you might not be on, I'll still ask, you know, oh, is there anything I can be doing? I'm not used in this scene. So acting's my passion, yes, but. But you actually I'm do enjoy. About learning, yeah, you, you know what done, I mean. I want to. Yeah, you've had to go at everything, so you, yeah, you have I do done love set, writing. And you, I do well, enjoy writing, writing. You've yeah. done set um, dressing, and yeah. and you make a really good first AC. Yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Was you involved in the production, as in the producing side? Uh, for abatements. Yeah. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was script supervising as well as doing the acting. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that that was challenging as well. Yeah. Trying to get into character yeah. and then someone will ask you a question and you'll be like, oh yeah, no, it's this. Mm. I'm out of character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 It was quite hard, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. It, it, it was a really hard experience, but gosh, we learned so much from it. Really That's like brilliant. Filmmaking. Absolutely. Oh God, yeah. yeah Absolutely. Exciting things on the horizon as well now, yeah. along with abatement, so. So abatement's nearly there. That's, that's, and we've already had one or two people ask about what we're doing with distribution. So yeah. I think we're okay. Well, I'll say if we choose to go with them, yeah, we've, we've had some interest in it. Mm. Oh, next. Next, so right, so currently, pilot, pilot. yeah, we, we're working on a pilot, um, working title at the moment is para, para, Parasitis. Parasitis. Yeah. American investor, uh, he's, he's Filipino mm. and he's doing this yeah. And he's, he's, uh, his company, um, Sinalea Productions. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah so and they're, they're associates company. with us as well. So um, mm. he, he's drawing on his... Uh, his heritage, really. Um, he's looking at a folklore creature, uh, and it, it's got that more horror element yeah, it's, to it's, it now. It's, it's a horror thriller, spent, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a horror thriller about this 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 folklore creature, mm. um, vile creature. It's yeah. a really horrible thing. It sort of preys on unborn unborn fetuses. So that's funded. Um, yes. We are pre-production on that. Yeah, yeah. We're cast. pretty much cast yeah. on it. Um, we kind of now just getting locations ready yeah. to set the dates for that. Aren't yeah, we? we are. So that's going to be a pilot episode. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That will uh, I mean, we'll take to channels and things. Yeah, he's he's. I think he's got the contacts over in the Philippines, mm. which is why he's done it on a really popular Filipino folklore creature. So, we yeah. and we've kind of got a few connections over here that seem quite interested. Which are good. Uh, we've still we, we need to get over to the Philippines for yeah. a few bits and pieces as well, which yeah. would be quite cool. Which will be awesome Sh yeah. shooting over the Philippines. It Can't is because well, well, well while we're over there though, we kind of want to we yeah. we, we kind of want to do if he's taking the time to get mm. us over there, we've got a few what other ideas we while we're yeah, over there. We, a it's a long way to go yes. to shoot one day. But on that so on, on that pilot production, mm. uh, we we're, we're sort of. Producing it, but then obviously so we're producers, you're, you're GOPing. DPing it. Um, I am. I'm going to be predominantly acting. You're one of the actors. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and we've got a brilliant lighting guy, haven't we, Andre? Yeah. So yeah, part of our crew, Andre Govia. He's worked on Stranger Things, Twenty Four, Live Another Day. Remember the old Enfield Hauntings series, mini series, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Um, so he's he's really experienced. Um, so he's lighting mm -hmm. it. And Tony. Tony, hopefully, is directing it as well. Um, I've walked away from the directing side this time. So, yeah, we've got a really nice crew together. Yeah, Casting crews really come together on it. Where the teams are. And yeah, we've got I a really mean, nice team. Really quickly diving into other, other things as well with Andre, our lighting guy. He's got this fantastic book about ab mm. abandoned places and uh, it's yeah. called Abandoned Planet. And we're trying to get a documentary sort of pilot together for that too because. Yeah. The places he has found is phenomenal. Oh, he's travelled around the world to do this book. Uh, An amazing photographer as well as mm. lighting is an amazing photographer. So I just think it would be a really interesting thing to, to delve into, you know, abandoned places. Yeah, so we've, we've, we've done a couple of places. Yeah. We've, we, we 
kind of almost we will be towards the end of summer pitching mm. that to some networks yeah um, it should be super good yeah. and I've, I've been writing my own script as well and so we're just about dystopian. to submit to bfi yeah yeah a dystopian a short film thriller mm. questioning where things are going in terms of our use of technology and the government and kind of yeah so it's a really nice sort of I say it's not, it's not post-apocalyptic. It, it's, no, it's near f- future, near future. Um, dystopian world, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, Where it's kind of posing the question: What would we all do if we all had a choice, and that choice was actually counted towards initiatives, laws, etc.? If we all had a vote, what would happen? Mm. Um, yeah. So it's a really, it's a really nice, it. yeah, it's a really nice concept. Yeah. Um, and then when we're not doing all of that, we've just started the film school. We have, yeah, we started. So we've just literally started a film school as well called BYFA. Yeah, Beginners Youth Film Academy. Yeah, yeah, which we're just getting off the ground now. Because well, we we love these conversations. We we love doing what we do. This is why we're yeah. all here, you know. Um, and we just thought, you know what? There's just not enough film focus on kids in school, you know, secondary. It, it was a bit of a um, gap in the market, primary. wasn't it? Um, yeah. There is a massive um, gap in the market for, for you know, the, using the, professional equipment. What, yeah, what, what, we, what we were seeing was, you know, there's drama schools all over the place. Mm. There, there was not a focus on the real filmmaking element, the real filmmaking, real equipment, real life stuff. So while we're still doing the acting side of it... Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's all about the filmmaking. It's about the equipment. It's about the camera, lens sound, choices, lighting. sound composition. But also, you know, um, makeup as well. Um, mm, yeah. It's stunts and things like that. We just want to kind of give that option because I know. Well, we know from personally teaching in in a lot of drama environments. Mm. Uh, yeah. That some some kids don't always want to be in front of the camera. You know, well, well um, most of the other establishments are mm. stage. They're, they're musical theatre stage. But this gives them um, the opportunity to get behind the camera. Yeah, this, the this is purely yeah. acting for film yeah. and camera and TV. That's where our focus is. Mm-hmm. And we did a summer school recently yeah. uh, with a group of children, and it just went amazing, didn't it? Oh, it was pretty it was So, yeah. so they really it. come out of their shells, didn't they? A lot of yeah, them. it's just yeah. so nice to see. Yeah, it really? is. so we we definitely we've got really high hopes of that. Um, yeah, yeah, we've got, we're going to be yeah. hopefully offering Trinity as well to them. Yeah, well, that's the other thing as well because we do we do both come from a teaching background as well. We've got you know a lot of years teaching behind us, so it all tied in, didn't it? Yeah. It all tied in that we can use the teaching experience, the film experience. I think I've shot nine mm-hmm. features now. I think it was. Yeah, Some, yeah, yeah. Know, we tallied features. them up with. Them. Yeah. And it's just like giving a bit back now, isn't it? Yeah. You know, using that so. to help others now. Because yeah, yeah, um, we've so. done it, we, we'd sort of done a couple of spells in some like SEBD schools. And that's what, that was a light bulb moment. We'd done some short films mm-hmm. with um, SEN. SEN children. And it almost seemed like an escapism for them. Mm-hmm. You know, they're really hardcore kids that really wasn't into education. And I, we could just see this light bulb moment. You do a film with them, they get into it so well. They love just it. Like they're talented. They it. They've got it. And it's them. just they're amazing talented. the talent you yeah. find. Yeah. And I, I, don't, I don't know why. It's just like, it's, just it's almost it's, like... It's the opportunity. That's, that's yeah. why we started school. We want to give this opportunity yeah. to inspire confidence. And quickly, but you know, it, it's, it's, so, it's so, yeah, it's absolutely great. To see those those children like it's awesome, yeah. Act so well, yeah, it's great. I know it'd be just great to do a film like that. When you see a film where they're not trained actors and they just do an amazing job, you know, just mm. just priceless. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're working that's a really on now at the moment. Uh, long answer. Sorry yeah, about was, that. Was a long answer. You've definitely got a good report to give anyway. Oh, do you show good? <laughs> we hate each other. <laughs> Absolutely, she's a bitch. She's a bitch and half. And I'm a better actor than she is because I hate her. Oh, I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm as <laughs> sick as I am. Yeah, yeah. I, method. I, like everyone thinks we're such good friends and we hate each yeah, other. Yeah, he pretends how to know how to use a camera. It's brilliant. Oh, no, I'm crap, and I mm. absolutely crap. <laughs> I've made nine terrible films. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's, it's good. It? It's good. <laughs>